What's up everyone, Sag here, playing on the Black and White Weekly, and I wanted to try to go for a five of a kind. Um, I've been trying for a little bit now, and to me, it seems like the best pets by far are the late game scalers, so Poodle Husky, by far. Still really good to get like an early Stork or something like that. Early Guinea Fowl is pretty crazy. Porcupine. But I want to go for a five of a kind. And Rabbit Husky and a few others seem like pretty degenerate. So that's what we're going to do. Ooh, nice. Uh, not a lot of good early food for Rabbit, but the, the late game food for Rabbit's crazy. So we just have to see what we can do. We kind of got to get uh, a little lucky. As with all things. And I'm going to level up this. Give me a rabbit. Okay. Eat my ass. How about that? Ooh, stoat. Stoat could be an interesting one. Just because uh, you can sell that on like turn 9 to get a level 2 husky immediately. But that that's like such a gamble. Such a big gamble to try to do. Huge Osprey clutch. Uh, yeah, get, get these in here. Oh, wow. I'll go for this. Guinea Fowl, I love you. I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, Guinea Fowl Porcupine's probably like the best early game thing to get. Already about to get his level 3 ant. Yeah, we're not going to be able to hold up to these teams, mostly because I'm I'm rolling it down, baby. Rolling it, rolling it. Uh, Penguin's good. We actually do have stuff to work with that. Get out of here. Alright. Alright. I don't know, buff Penguin, and, I mean, uh, Anthem Mosquito, just to get a little bit, a little bit going. But I have no Garlic Press... Kind of sad. Yeah, smack this guy around. Show him who's boss. Boss. There's a rabbit there, too. Oh, no, I don't need that. I want the stoat. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Give me the stoat, boss. I want to tie here, too. Hard to guarantee stuff like that. No. So close. Osprey is too clutch. Too clutch to lose. Or tie, even. No husky. Don't care. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna keep sending it. I mean, we'll we'll get something eventually. Clearly, it's not gonna be rabbit. I think it's way too late to try to get rabbit in now. I would have had to gone with the one of the earlier guys, for sure. Wow, that's a win. I did not expect to win there. It's that clutch osprey. Nope. Trash. Trash Ola. That's cool. I mean, like cow's good. You know, everyone loves a little bit of mommy's milk. Okay, well, at least we get a level 2 stoat cell next turn. And please let it be into husky. I want four husky next turn. You better damn hand it over. Before I get violent. Alright, what do we see? What do we see? What do we see? Fuck. Macaque! It's actually crazy to get a level 2 that early. Uh, I can just sell this. Now we need to go for Husky. Come on, Husky. Where are you? That's Milky. Hey, we got one. I think we get rid of Osprey here. Yeah, this will actually be really good for 
a little bit of stabilization because we're going to get a 24 24 which is kind of cracked wait how did you hit him first i guess it was a little bit of a speed tie there between skunk and macaque yes yes Ooh, no. Damn it. God damn it, Bobby. This still looks good, though. We're probably going to have to keep um, Macaque for a while. But I think that's fine. It should be helping us out tremendously. That's a big skunk. Tying is huge, huge tie there. Brother... I guess I could have just held that. Okay, nice. Uh, mosquito's gone. We got another one? What do I do about that? Hmm. I think next turn... I don't really want to sell the macaque. I, I would like to have another husky before I sell it. You feeling me? Oh, dude, I can't beat this guy. He's got garlic on his. Maybe I just send it. Fucking send it, dude. <laughs> Don't lose here. Don't lose. We have so much going for us right now. Except our 24, 24 orangutan. What is this? What is that? Um, uh, I need an adult. Ooh, we got it. Now we just need to live. Come on. I, I can't buy salt here. I have to roll it down. No. Come on. Enough stats for turn 13? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not in this weekly. God, not even close. Not even close! We killed one unit! Hey, hey. It's Papa Sag here with a little post-commentary. I figured that this was going to be rather difficult for, for this weekly, since there was really, really good scaling throughout. So I decided that I was going to just chill out, because I knew I was going to have to run through a lot of games, which I did. It was probably... 20 or 30 more games maybe maybe closer to 20 um just running through games really quickly like seeing either if i got good rabbit luck or good husky luck and i knew that's all it was going to take was just a run where you get either double rabbit on like turn three or double husky on like turn seven something like that or like a really good stoat cell so that's that's why i'm i'm here now just put some music on i like doing that from time to time just not having to commentate or anything. Just put some music on and go to town grinding a challenge. Kind of reminded me of the Gorilla Challenge. I mean, that, that might just be PTSD. Um, but I had fun nonetheless. The, the weekly, I think in my opinion, it's very aesthetic. It's definitely not uh, made to be like a, a good weekly. But I think it was kind of fun. I, I didn't I did not enjoy getting absolutely dominated in the blind weekly though that was that was not a part of the plan uh, playing that late definitely will do that hopefully when we get back here on Sunday we can uh, start streaming again and and get another weekly going blind weekly that is um, so I will be streaming this Sunday I guess that's a little. A little quick announcement over on Twitch. Hey, follow me. Hey, you'll see it live. I'm I'm way more unhinged live. If you think I'm unhinged now, imagine if I was live. We 
so much, so much of it never makes it. And if you think I'm unhinged live, imagine me in private. <laughs> we'll just go all the way back to it. Um, so yeah, we, I mostly wanted to go for five Husky. That's what I was really planning on doing. Uh, I did say like rabbit and whatnot. And yeah, I gave it a few good attempts, but I felt like it just wasn't good enough. Now the garlic was of course very good, but other people running poodle Husky were just going to like clap your ass cheeks. Like it's nobody's business. So I figured Husky would be a better way to go. And then by the end of it, if you did need to throw garlic on a 50-50 Husky, it would, it would feel pretty good because, you know, it doesn't need stats anymore. Um... So I don't actually, I don't know if anyone's able to do or has done a five of a kind rabbit for this weekly, but it would be interesting to see. It'd probably be, I think it would be harder than customs, but I'm not, I'm not so sure. I feel like in customs, being able to level up like is so important and rabbit is already really good with mouse. So rabbit, I mean, mouse is in here too. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we got a husky on turn seven. Congratulations me. I did decide to pick up a chicken. Um, if we could get another husky here on like turn eight, that'd be wild. I use chicken in a fair amount of games just because like I would get it early. And then when you actually did get your husky, it felt a little bit better. Looks like we're going to go for level two husky instead. I also respect that because we get another level up. Not a husky, but might as well buy a zebra here. I don't want to keep losing. Like if we could tie, beautiful. I, I feel like you definitely need to be able to tie more the cuz the longer the longer the, the longer the longer the game goes husky just gets out of control especially if you have all five of them not not very many people are going to have that much scaling so getting a level 2 husky on turn 8 is um is quite a dream and then the stoat cell is very important here what do we get from this stoat i roll once i forget about the stoat and then i get a crane Level 2 Crane is actually really, really good. And I'll explain why. There is no Melon in this pack. So the fact that you can get Melon is is pretty, pretty fat. You can see I'm just rolling everything else down here. We do find another Husky and a Chocolate, which is very important. And if we get like any Melons with this Crane, I mean, you get Melon plus 10 attack. That's, that's pretty... That's sizable, especially for turn 9. There's not going to be a whole lot of people with, like, a huge amount of attack or health yet. And and not only do we get it once, but we get it twice. Like, yeah, it's uh, level 2 crane here is pretty cracked, and we didn't have to do anything for it. So, I would say that was uh, a game changer. I did do stoat selling a lot. Of course, that was, like, that was like the big luck card was, like, oh, can I get a level 2 husky on turn nine and I never did <laughs> not a single time pretty unfortunate um so I was basing most of my strategy on trying to get at least one on turn seven or eight um and we are already significantly stronger from that first game if you saw from that first game like I, I don't think we were any anywhere near close being this strong on turn 11 like I didn't even get the full husky team until like turn 12 or 13 and by that time, they were they were babies. They were real tiny. Uh, I'm trying to think, do I want to sell my guinea fowl here? And I end up don't. I actually don't sell it here. Yeah, I buy the avocado, freeze all of that, because now next turn, I get to buy the zebra and the cow and the husky. And I will sell the, the guinea fowl here. I feel like keeping crane is going to be a lot better. And one of our huskies is probably going to be close enough to actually utilizing the the crane. And I'm going to hit one husky specifically with the cow. Um, that's the one that's getting double buffed by the by both level twos. I should have hit the zebra first, but it, it worked out anyways. And then all I need to do is find the last husky. And it's like, yeah, I can just get it in last turn and keep the crane because I feel like that's going to be a lot better for us. But if I find it soon enough, who knows, I might just slap that bad boy in there. Um, so now we're looking pretty good. Yeah, this turn 12 is so much different. Level 2 crane makes uh, a world of difference. And even with that skunk hit, I get massive value out of the crane. Easy win there. Um, and at this point, now that we've made it here, it's looking really good. And not only that, but we see the, the double husky and the crow. I actually end up, um, yeah, combining one of the huskies and I say it's probably good enough to do it because I can get the, 
three level twos and the two level ones. And with two live le two lives less left, oh my god, the the tongue twister. I feel confident enough doing this, especially because like, oh well, if I lose here, I lose here. Um, if I win, that's amazing, which I actually do. Their their scaling just wasn't quite enough. You can see I'm getting excited because now we're we're basically guaranteed to win. It's gonna be really really hard. Uh, to have a team beat me, because, like, what do I get? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine, nine to all of my units next turn. That's, that's good. That's a really, really good. What is that, like, 45 stats? And, yeah, th this guy's just nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. And now it's like, dude, there's, there's no way anyone beats me. Unless they also have a husky team. There's no way that could happen, right? Let's get closer. I There's no way that could happen. I have two lives, though. That's fine. We're good here. There's no team that could beat me. I'm confident. Until I see this guy. I can't... I can't believe that. My jaw dropped when I saw that team. I was like, you're, you're shitting me. So even if I would have lost that game on... Or that round on turn 13, I would have lost the run. One of the most perfect runs. And now I'm I'm kind of scared. You see me slow rolling because I'm looking for a garlic, but not even garlic on my 50-48 would have stopped a 50-50. Um, so I hit in turn and I say, please don't face me with another Buffalo team. And it's just this guy. He's not too strong. He does have a level three skunk, but you know, we're able to clear this all up. So really fun stuff here. Uh, I enjoyed the weekly nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. Politely smack that like button, Zest on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.